welcome to the channel guys um, today as promised um, one of the things that people were asking me the most about um, when going through my old comments and videos going through my messages that I always sent from other youtubers and especially just the old Instagram uh, comments and uh, messages that I would get um, before people stopped kind of asking me what happened to the channel was being able to distinguish between a Vulcan eye shoe and Cupsil shoe, um, especially when shopping online. And so I feel that this would be a good opportunity, especially because most people nowadays, um, compared to even you know five years ago, a lot of people do a lot of shopping online. And you will see me if you guys are part of any of the slap forums. Uh, I do the whole the new upcoming shoe releases thread. I'm not. I don't make it, I'm just a part of it. And so I wanna be able to, especially since those people on there, sometimes we can't tell if it's a cup or a Volk at first sight. We need more pictures, we more, need more depth. And I have learned over the years from selling shoes to just being a shoe fanatic myself, being able to distinguish one from the other. So, and there'll be a timestamp too, so you can skip all that if you want to and go right into the information. So I have two very basic um, black and white shoes. So we have the, I'm not even sure if it was released, but the Circa Walker Ryan Pro model that he had before he left Circa after um, Perpetual Motion. And then one of my new favorites that came out um, not too long ago, but um, just a real nice, sleek, low top Lucas Premier ADV. And so we have with us our Vulcanized shoe and our Cupsule shoe. Both not skated, so that way you can tell them a little bit easier as far as all the details that we'll go over. So, um, but one of the things that when you're shopping for shoes online, you should be able to, when looking at the page, wherever you're getting them from, uh, they should be able to have just the look of the shoe on the screen for you. And then on the sides, it would have multiple different camera angles that you can see the shoe from, from the top angle to the side angle to the inner side angle and eventually they will show the sole of it. And so the sole is what makes the shoe either vulcanized shoe or a cup sole. And here's the easiest way to tell. When looking at the vulcanized shoe, as some of you guys are aware, I did a video on cup sole versus Volk. This is more of an in-depth, you can tell right away um, or have a better chance of being able to tell right away um, the difference in the two. So. Um, I can even see it on my screen because I have my uh, LC screen flipped. Right off the bat, this is a foxing tape. And within the foxing tape, you can already see the indents from where the sidewall goes into the uh, foxing tape because the foxing tape is just glued around the edges to keep it all together. And you can see where the slit line is where they come together right behind the Circa license plate. Vans are very famous for also having the um, the foxing tape fold over itself. A lot of companies also will have them on the inside um, of the toe area right here where usually if you have that um, excess uh, tread for the toe bumper, you will see the slit line kind of buried underneath there just so that way it's out of the way, it doesn't get damaged, doesn't start pulling apart. And also another distinguishing feature for vulcanized shoes is when you look at the sole, you are never going to see any kind of gapping or any kind of flex groove that separates this sole, the foxing tape part of the sole, from the actual tread itself. It's always gonna be as much as one piece as possible. And it's so that way it stays together. Whereas if you take a cup sole shoe, this is a cup sole shoe sitting on top of a bulk wrapped uh, liner right here. And so they, get this out of the way. So um, you can tell right away, the same kind of things apply here. Um, you would see the uh, foxing tape goes over where the stripes are. So at first glance, you would maybe think, oh, this is a Volk shoe. And also you can see where the toe bumper is right here that the, uh, the cup sole portion of it is clearly visible. However, this is a cup sole shoe. And you can see because this is all one solid piece of material. It's not gonna be anything different. There's no um, wrap around here besides just the toe bumper. Um, I think a better glance, there you go. You should be able to see it from there. But um, this is all one solid piece of material. There's, no, there's nothing distinguishing this sidewall right here 
that it sits on from the actual sole itself. It's the exact same material, one solid piece, and that's what a cup sole is. It is formed in the shape of a cup where your heel sits. So that way, when you step into it, it fits perfectly in, um, and you're able to get the support that you need. Some companies are starting to do now, which is more of a, th a thinner cup sole, so that way, when you skate it, it's easier to break in, and um, it gives you more board feel. However, cup soles are not meant or not designed for instant board feel. That is not their purpose. It is for more support and more protection than a Volk shoe. Volk shoe is meant for out of the box, you can go skate it right away, have very little break in time, and you get really good board feel. However, the shoe, depending on what rubber they use, depending on the company that you're um, wearing, the tread can either go real fast or it can last a little bit longer, but you're gonna feel everything. So um, along with that great board feel, you're gonna feel eventually all the pebbles, you're gonna feel the rocks, you'll feel if you step on a thumbtack, or it pretty much just anything. So that's, and that is not just when you're skating, that's when you're walking around, you can feel everything. And so I, I to this day, I don't know why people skate big things in Volk shoes. Um, when Shane O'Neill does it, I kind of just, just blows my mind that he can skate anything big in Janowski's because you literally can feel everything. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the point of, usually what a Volk shoe does. Plus, it, it's more cost-effective. It's way easier to make Volk shoes um, from a, a business standpoint than it is a cup sole shoe. And today's day and age, a lot of people, the, the cup shoes are starting to come back. The Volk shoes were dominating for a very long time, so it's very easy to just make a new silhouette up of the upper, put a Volk wrap around it, and boom, you have a brand new shoe. Whereas a cup sole shoe, it takes a, it's a much longer process. You don't actually put this in an oven, that's why they're super stiff when you first get them, and you have to actually physically break them in. So, um, also don't let what you see as far as certain photos of shoes online fool you. Um, you have to be able to look at different, uh, different images if you can, um, especially like for example the new Taishan um, Pro model from Adidas, when that was blown up on the slap message boards, people were not were not sure is it a Volk shoe, is it a cup sole shoe? I actually was kind of thinking it was trying they're trying to do a hybrid of it because when you look at the inner side of it, not where you actually have the um, Ollie area, but just I, I don't even know what exactly what you call this, but kind of where the arch support is, you have two lines. And without looking at any better pictures, because all I saw was what was in the uh, Sodi Thrasher magazine issue. Um, I wasn't sure if it was a Volk shoe because it, it looked like a Volk shoe at first, but seeing the backside Smith angle that he had on the uh, main issue or the inside issue, uh, it looked like it was kind of like a ZX Volk style shoe, but it was a cup because in the back you can distinctly tell that the whole material was one piece and it went all the way from one side to the other, it didn't actually have a Volk wrap onto it. Now looking at on the Adidas website, you can tell it's kind of like the 3ST Model 3 where they had that giant booger stain on the side, but when you look as it goes through the bottom of the sole, it's still one solid piece from one side to the other, it just has separate into different um, materials. So you have um, part of the sole, which is probably a little bit thicker right here, the inner part or the middle part is for the Primo protection, and then the heel for impact protection. Um, so that way, hopefully, it takes away a lot of the impact pain that you would feel on it. So, um, yeah, that's how you can distinguish between, or the, the main ways that you can distinguish between a cup sole shoe and a vulcanized shoe when shopping online. Um, there's a lot of other little things that will give it away. I mean, if you, even if you check the product description, most of the time that you're going to see, it'll say either labeled as, uh, you know, Volt construction, cup construction. Again, with Tyshawn's, it was kind of it was kind of weird because they said it was there's an inner Volk wrap, and that's just where the cup sits. The inner part has the vulcanized shoe wrapping to it, kind of like how the uh, Premier does right here. So you have the inner wrap right here sitting on top of the cup sole construction. Uh, but hopefully that helps. That was one of the main things that people were kind of confused about when I did my Cup versus Volk video. People were messaging me a lot about it and I finally now feel it's right to, especially now in our generation where we do a lot of shopping online 
and especially the releases are starting to become more online based. There's still store releases, which is amazing. Always support your local skate shop, but with the idea of it going to an online exclusive only um, era, that's going to be hopefully ways for you guys to be able to tell the difference between a cupsole shoe and a vulcanized shoe when you're shopping online. Hopefully that helps. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, good luck when you're shopping online for your next pair of skate shoes. But better yet, go into your local skate shop and actually physically hold the shoe and you'll be able to tell right away, hopefully, um, what's a cup and what's a Volk. So again, support your local skate shop. But if you do shop online, hopefully it helps. And I'll see you guys in the next video.